the grace of the Father, the peace of the Son, and the fellowship of their Holy Spirit be with you all. Sisters and brothers, let us continue down our Advent journey, preparing our hearts for the coming of Christ. Let us begin, as we always do, by thanking God for saving us through Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, come and save us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, come and save us. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, come and save us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Stir up your power, O Lord, and come to our help with mighty strength, that what our sins impede, the grace of your mercy may hasten. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day, they will sing this song in the land of Judah. A strong city have we. He sets up walls and ramparts to protect us. Open up the gates to let in a nation that is just, one that keeps faith. A nation of firm purpose you keep in peace in peace for its trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord is an eternal rock. He humbles those in high places and the lofty city he brings down. He tumbles it to the ground, levels it with the dust. It is trampled underfoot by the needy, by the footsteps of the poor. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Open to me the gates of justice. I will enter them and give thanks to the Lord. This gate is the Lord's, the just shall enter it. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have been my savior. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Lord, grant salvation. O Lord, grant prosperity. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God and he has given us light. Alleluia, alleluia. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call him while he is near. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who, will, who does the will of my Father in heaven. Everyone who listens to these words of mine 
and acts on them will be like the wise person who built their house on rock. The rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and buffeted the house, but it did not collapse. It had been set solidly on rock. And everyone who listens to these words of mine and does not act on them will be like a fool who built their house on sand. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, and it collapsed and was completely ruined. The Gospel of the Lord. We could picture Jesus telling this story. He's probably on the shore of the Sea of Galilee as he's telling this story. As I recall, the, the sand on the shore of the Sea of Galilee is not like the grainy sand of Florida, but it's more pebbly, like lots of pebbles there. I can imagine him sort of standing on, on, on the pebbly shore and saying, don't build your house on this, on this sandy, pebbly area. And then maybe he pointed to a big rock that was jutting into the Sea of Galilee and saying, but you want to build your house on, on solid rock, like that rock over there. If you take that solid rock that's right next to the uh, sand and you took a big enough hammer and smashed it, it would break into smaller rocks. And then you did it again, it would break into smaller rocks. And you go far enough, you're going to get those same pebbles. And, and so you're talking about the same thing, as a matter of fact. A, a, a big rock on the shore of Galilee is, is basically a bunch of disparate granules of sand that have chosen to come together, have chosen to become one, to become bigger than itself. And if all of this is a metaphor for our spiritual life, for what we want to be our foundation of the spiritual life, perhaps we can imagine your, your, your life, who you are sitting in that pew is one grain, and sitting at your kitchen table is another grain, sitting behind the wheel of your car, that's another grain, sitting behind your computer is another grain, sitting on your couch watching TV, that's another grain, walking through Audubon Park, is another grain. And if who you are is very different in each of these places, then your spiritual foundation is basically disparate grains of sand. But if you are one and the same person, if all of these granules of your life are all the same, then you are solid rock, rock that, that the Lord can build his house on for you to live on. Let us bring our prayers before the Lord. Let us pray that always, but especially in this season of Advent, that we indeed do all that we can to build a good foundation from which the Lord could build his house on for us. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray for today's intention, for the intentions of the holy name of Jesus community. We pray to the Lord. Built by God as a holy city, strong and just, we pray, send us the just one. Lord, send us the just one. That the church may be a bulwark of holiness, we pray. Send, Send us, us the, the just, just one. one. That those who keep faith may enter into God's glory, we pray. Send us the just one. That those troubled in mind and heart may know God's peace, we pray. Send us the just one. That the feet of the poor may trample in justice, we pray. Send us the just one. That the sick may find hope in words of comfort, we pray. Send us the just one. That we may trust in the power of our Redeemer, we pray. Send us the just one. For our personal intentions, 
in the silence of our hearts. We pray. Send us the just one. That the dead may join the heavenly assembly. We pray. Send us the just one. Let us pray that the COVID pandemic will come to an end. Let us pray that the United States and other wealthy nations may do all it can to help the poorer nations to bring the pandemic to an end. For this we pray to the Lord. Send us the and just the one. Just one. Amen. Amen. Pray, my sisters and my brothers, that this our sacrifice might be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings that we make, gathered from among your gifts to us. And may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always, everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago. He opened for us the way to eternal salvation. And when Christ comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which we now dare to hope. And so with the angels and the archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Indeed, you are holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work so that the human race may become holy as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray, upon your people's offerings. Pour out on them the power of your spirit that they may become for us the body and the blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we once were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love. For your Son, who alone is just, handed himself to death and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate this Passover feast with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread from the table and he gave thanks. He said the blessing and broke the bread. He gave it to his disciples and he said, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself through the blood of the cross, he took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, and once more he gave thanks, handed the chalice to his friends, and he said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many 
for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead. And looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you, who are our faithful and merciful God, this sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the whole human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those that you unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son. Grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, we may be gathered into one body in Christ, who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis our Pope and Gregory our Bishop. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until the hour when we stand before you, saints among saints in the halls of heaven, with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, with St. Ignatius Loyola, and with our own deceased sisters and brothers whom we humbly commend to your mercy. Then freed at last from the wound of corruption and made fully into a new cre creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray to the Father in the words of the Son. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be free from sin and safe from distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace is my gift to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you all. Let's offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the one who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray, for even now as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and to hold fast to what endures. Through Christ our Lord, amen. And the Lord be with you all. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.